Good morning and Merry Christmas. Um, today I've decided to make some bread and um, if you've never made homemade bread you really should try it and if you do you already know how to do this and maybe learn a bit from you know or tweak your own recipe. Um, now at the price of fuel these days, like the cost of gas, um, my oven is big enough to make eight loaves. So I've got eight loaf pans and that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, the recipe I'm going to give you though is only for four loaves. Because uh, I'm assuming most of you don't have an oven as big as mine. So, and I'll put this on the screen after. It's uh, four cups or one liter of water. One tablespoon plus two teaspoons or 25 mils of yeast. 1 tablespoon or 15 mils of salt, 2 tablespoons or 30 mils of sugar, uh, 10 cups or 1.25 kilos of flour, 5 ounces, which is um, 10 tablespoons or 150 mils of oil. And if you want to add it, you can put 60 grams of skim milk powder, water that's warm but not hot to the touch. Can you tell I do a lot of baking? And remember, um, the quantities I'm using are double the ones I gave you. So whisk that up. And then let it rest while you get your uh, dry ingredients ready. I'm just going to put it under a light on top of the um, stove here. Okay, I've got all the uh, dry ingredients except the sugar in here, and I thought I'd point out, yeah, no, this is coffee mate. I do put sugar in here, because it's a great little pour. Yeah. Yeast is starting to froth up, which means it's good. Okay, so pour the oil that you pre-measured into the yeast and water mixture. Give that a good whisk. Pour that in all at once into the flour. And for this you want to use the wooden spoon. You don't want to use a whisk for this, it's going to get stuck. So pick it up from the bottom. You will need a bit of extra flour for the kneading after. Now, I'm going to get this stirred up, and I'm going to call in uh, a friend of mine who's kindly agreed to be my stunt kneader for the day, um, just to make sure that I don't wreck my shoulder on Christmas, again, since it's just healed up nicely, and I know if I push it too hard, I'm going to wind up right back where I was again, which I don't want to do. So I'll be back in a minute. So it's on the counter. There's some extra flour here that you're going to need. Um, <clears throat> to finish this, probably not that much, but it's always good to have. Okay, um, the dough is ready for the first rice. So what I'm going to do is get that other bowl clean now and come back. Okay, so bowls are all clean there. And what you should do is oil one up, or oil both of them up if you're using two. I just put that in the bowl and let it sit in a warm place. I'm going to put it on top of the stove until it's approximately doubled in bulk. That will take uh, approximately an hour and a half to two hours. Oh yeah, and I thought I'd just come back to show you quick. If you're wondering, oh, I don't want to make bread because of the horrible mess and all that sticky dough and what the hell do you do with that? Well, guess what? Just get a couple of wet paper towels, soak them up. You can either squeeze water onto the counter and just let it sit for a bit, or just work it, okay? And that's all you need to do, and just keep at it, and all the uh, dried sticky dough and the flour will come right off. Yeah, okay. Just checking the clock, it's been two hours. That's the nice part about making bread. You can just start it and go do other stuff and you don't waste your day 
cooking. Okay, so look at that, eh? Isn't that nice? So what you do, you can get a dough scraper if you want, one of those plastic dough scrapers, or if you got one, you can find a reason to use it finally. Okay, that's a little warm because I got the oven preheating. And the hot air comes up the back. Okay, so what you do, turn the dough out onto the counter. Okay, I got a bit of flour here that will still pick up. This is quite sticky. So I just want to turn it into the flour. I don't really want to knead flour in. What I'm doing here, if you got a really couple of hard bits, just pull them out. If there's anything that's stuck up out of the air. Okay, you want to just turn this over a couple of times. Can you hear that? That are the big air bubbles coming out. Okay, so what you want to do is basically just get it that you're confident most of the air is out. Okay, you will notice if you watch TV shows, if you want perfect loaves, you get out the scale and you weigh each piece of dough. I could do that now, but I got a bunch of stuff I have to do today, so I'm not going to muck around with that. Okay, so then you take each piece, flatten it by hand, okay, pick it up, flatten it a bit more, okay, so you've got sort of like the size of a piece of paper about. And pick it up at the end, just roll it up like that, have the seam on the bottom, and just put it into a bread pan. So this is as high as the tripod will go. I just thought I'd give you a shot of what the uh, finished loaves are looking like at the start of the rise. Just get a very short, your same knife that you used to cut the dough, and make one slit down the middle. Okay, that will open up. I'll do the rest of them after. And then, just starting in the middle, give it a quick brush with some butter down the middle and just a bit on each side. Now okay, so the oven just hit 400. Going to give you a bird's eye view here. Oops. Heating up. Actually drying my flour sifter which has just made a trip in the dishwasher okay and take a look yeah those are looking just fine okay so first row two and then the eighth one is the charm this one has to ride up a little bit just get the door closed I'll be back in a half an hour. Okay, so it's been exactly half an hour. We'll open up the oven. Yep. Come out. There we go. Those are looking real nice. Just take your bread and turn it out. Oops. Okay. And cool it on its side. And uh, this is the munged up one. I should point out, they usually they get bigger than this. Um, I think the reason they were too small is because I had the oven on for another dish I was making. I forgot about it. And they rose a little too much on the first rise. So you should be careful about that. Uh, warm but not too hot. So you don't kill some of the yeast. And in case you're curious, I did do a calorie calculation on these. And each loaf, um, based on standard uh, measures, it, assuming they're all equal, is around 1,440 calories. So assuming you could get 10 slices of bread out of here, so 145 calories a slice, which is not that bad. And it tastes much better than uh, store-bought, for sure. So, once again, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.